Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to be using objects for lookups. Um, objects can be thought of as key value storage, at, like a dictionary. If you have a tabular data, you can, oh, if you have tabular data, you can use an object to look up values rather than a switch statement or an if else chain. This is most useful when you know that your input data is limited to a certain range. Here's an example of a simple reverse alphabet lookup. So they've got um, alpha is equal to the object of um, one, two, three, four, five. So it's numerical and it goes up. And so the alphabet's reversed. So Z's first, so I, X. Um, so alpha at two is Y because alpha at point two is Y. Alpha at 24 is C, meaning it's the you know third from the last. Um, so we're setting a variable of a value of is equal to two. And so here what we're doing is we're passing in a variable into an object, um, uh, an object here. So we want to convert the switch statement into an object called lookup. Here's the switch statement. And we want to convert that only change code below this line, only change code above this line. Okay, so we're just going to change this code from a switch statement to a, uh, to, uh, into an object called look at. Con yeah, we want to convert this into an object. So what we can do is we want to say, use it to look up val. Um, we want to convert the object. So we want to call it a lookout. So we're going to create a variable, an object called, oh, variable lookout. So lookup is the name of our object. We want to use it to look up the val. So in here is our, in the case that it's alpha, it's going to be atoms. Hmm, interesting. So alpha, and then that's going to render out to atoms. So we're making it so that in the case that the value is alpha, we, we the result becomes atoms, and then it respond, uh, returns the result. Um, so the next one, bravo, is equal to Boston. Uh, Charlie is equal to Chicago. Delta is equal to Denver. Echo. is equal to easy. Foxtrot is equal to Frank. And we don't have to put a comma at the end. And I see missed a comma or a uh, parenthesis here. And so now we have what's called a reverse lookout. Now let's consoles.log this now. I think we can do this here. Great, okay, so now what we do is we're logging out the lookup and then available to the key. So as long as, because I passed in alpha, I'm getting atoms. And so that should be right. And we wanna use it to look up val and assign the associated string to the result. So now, you see right now I'm console logging out the result. Um, let me console result. So currently my guess is that this is empty, but no, the result is a, is a uh, let's see. Here we're doing the phonetic look, lookup, which is phonetic lookup here. So if the first thing that happens in this function is we're, pass, we're assigning this function to the memory of the computer, and down here we're calling it. And we're calling it by passing in a, a letter, Charlie. So this becomes Charlie shortly. And we wanna switch, um, our switch statement is getting Charlie and assigning the result to Chicago. But our goal is to remove this. So I'm just going to highlight it and press command and then the question mark key. And that um, makes it so that we don't have this assigning um, our result. And so right now, if I were to add into here empty string, you're going to see there's an empty string here. Why? Because um, we're calling this function and the empty string is being saved as a result. It's coming down here. It's remembering the lookup. We, but we never tell it to actually do the lookup. 
And so the result becomes empty string. I hope that makes sense. Um, and so what we want to do here is assign the result. So we want to do result is equal to um, look up um, Charlie. Yes, and we want to pass in the value from the top. And then our result becomes correct. Um, I think if we were to, let's see. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove this console log from here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to console log uh, this uh, same exact thing so we can see. So it's coming out as Charlie. So we do phonetic lookout. It's turning to Charlie. All this code's commented out. So we can actually get rid of this now. I want to keep that statement. So we're assigning the lookout. You notice how much smaller the whole function is. So what we've done now is we've set up a object and we've um, set the result equal to the object at the value which is being passed in here. And, what's being, and it's being passed in here, down here where it says Charlie. And so this function now comes out with Charlie. So this is a tricky little one, but this is an excellent practice because um, learning the way to use objects instead of switch statements is a great way to make your code much more efficient. If you compare this code to the beginning code, this makes it look much easier. It's much easier to work with. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'm going to run the test, see if it passes. Good job. Okay, so thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.